Hey there, everyone. It's Chris Mack. So uh, it's nine o'clock my time. I'm uh, getting this video done, and then it's going to air tomorrow morning. But um, before I announce the winner of the giveaway, I promise all of you it would behoove you to watch till the very end of this video. Trust me, everyone watch to the end, okay? All right, first, let's go with this giveaway announcement is for 1,500 um, followers over on Instagram, but it's a special one for me because it was uh, this giveaway is right after the passing of my mom, and because of that, I chose a book and um, some bar and uh, Barlow knives. So the book is the uh, the Ox Cart Man, and the knives are um, these uh, Barlows here and uh, the winner is going to get two of these one for themselves and one for to give to somebody else just kind of like how the the book uh, goes along with that line of how the father of the book gifts uh, Barlow to his son at the end of it so that's what the giveaway is uh, before I get into the announcing the winner I thank you everyone for your kind words your condolences um, and just thank you so very much it's kind of uh, reassuring and refreshing to have uh, friends come out of the woodwork whenever it comes to uh, the loss of a parent of uh, hearing people having kind words to say. So thank you all so very much for that. I do appreciate it. All right. So now let's get into the announcement of the giveaway. And one more thing before that as well. Uh, we are single digits away from the 350 subscriber giveaway as well. I've already talked about that. I'm not going to go into that again. But single digits now away from 350. So that's awesome. Let's keep, keep it up there, guys. All right. So I'm going to... Uh, to read the winning, oh, my cord's a little short here, and uh, my iPad had died, so give me one second here. I'm going to read the uh, the the write-up here that I uh, chose. I have a three-year-old daughter, Madison, who would be getting this sooner than later. We would love to uh, would love to go as far as to have it engraved for her. Something we do together. She picks. Uh, my out my EDC knife pen and watch every morning uh, with my new job I see her more so in the morning before I leave plus it's fun to see the gears turn she's always asking when she will get one to match her princess dress thank you so uh, this one is from uh, Axe Gecko so Axe Gecko you're the winner of the uh, of the giveaway and sorry, I'm a little off here. I usually wear, um, I should have my glasses on. Hey, what? You know more than one of those really tugged at your heartstrings. What are you doing? Your point being, why don't you give away another set? That's a great idea. I have them on occasion. Don't let it go to my head. All right, you heard the man. We're going to give away another set. So the uh, the other one that really struck me was... Great stuff as always. I love that you connect personal meaning to all your videos. I have certain memories and books that I have kept for my son as well. He just turned two last month. I have already started putting things aside for him when he comes of age. Passing things down from father to son is one of the most important responsibilities we have as fathers. So yeah, I'd put the second knife aside for my son, and when he is old enough, I know how to... And when he is old enough to know how to use and respect it, once again great videos big fan and that is i'm going to butcher trying to say this because of how it is uh nader here and there so nader here and there you've also won we're going to give a set to you as well uh chris now what there's one other entry we really need to talk about and which one would that be you know which one i'm talking about we need to talk about this fine we'll talk about it Happy? Thank you. Okay, there's one more entry we need to talk about. Give me one second to find it. All right, so this last one I need to read is this. I would give the other knife to my niece. She's 27, and she works in the city of Philadelphia and also works odd jobs after her main job. I think it's important for women to protect their self and know how to protect their persons. I love that more and more women have been getting into knives and how and how to tell a good knife from another. Thanks for chance and congrats on 1500 subs. Now this one is from Lisa Lovely. 
Now, a little bit different here, okay? Um, so first and foremost, I'm sure anybody uh, here on this channel and anybody watching this would definitely be able to tell you that um, for defense purposes, a Barlow is not going to be the thing that you want to go with here. I mean, you would have to truly dig this out of your pocket. There's no clip or anything like that. you got to get into the nail nick. you got to get this open. The, while a good knife, I would not necessarily consider a Barlow uh, for self-defense. That being said, I also was born and raised in Pennsylvania, and I looked up... Uh, Pennsylvania, I, I know for a fact, has zip uh, whenever it comes to knife laws. However, the city of Philadelphia does. They are one of the strictest cities in the nation, actually. Um, I read a couple of different articles just to make sure that it wasn't just a little bit of hearsay, um, but it seems like at the end of the day um, that Philadelphia only allows you to carry a knife if it is part of your job. Yeah, I hate that. Anyhow, I do agree with you about somebody needing to have the ability and the right to defend themselves and all that. So, um, the first two guys, which I'm going to go ahead and list here to make sure that we don't have any um, butchering of names, you two um, are going to win the Oxcart Man book and two Barlow knives. Those will be sent out to you. However, uh, Lisa Lovely, uh, I'm going to put that right here just to make sure that that is correct. A little bit different for you. <laughs> um, again, because of the whole knife laws and everything like that, and more so what you're asking for. And again, the um, while a Barlow knife is a good knife, definitely uh, not what I would consider for self-defense. In um, I did a lot of research before I did this, and um, the my wife and I are both nurses, and um, both have our concealed carry permits and all that. However. Um, when it comes to jobs, we're a little bit more restricted uh, because of what we do. So I did a lot of research and this Sabre Red pepper spray is what she is allowed to carry at work. So I did a lot of research before doing this. So, and it's, it's real simple. You just truly flick that bad boy on over and spray away. Uh, looking for the eyes and getting right in there. There's lots of videos out there on how to properly use this. However, because of the specific need that you have uh, placed on wanting to win this, uh, I'm going to send you two of these. Uh, one for you and one for your niece. So, anyhow, as stated before, down in the rules and everything, um, what I need all three of you to do is to head on over to my Instagram, direct message me over there, and uh, you've got 48 hours from the time that this airs to get in contact with me, and then we will, uh, then I'll uh, uh, work on getting addresses and stuff like that that I need, and uh, I will get all this sent out to you. Um, and by addresses and stuff, uh, I use Amazon uh, to fulfill. Um, this stuff so that way I don't have to pay shipping. I'm just going to send it from Amazon directly to you guys, kind of like a, a gift thing. So anyhow, that being said, all three of you have 48 hours from the airing of this video to get in contact with me. Uh, whenever you get in contact with me, that kind of stops the 48 hour clock, but get in contact with me and we'll get all this stuff sent out to you. All right. Thank you so very much. And as always, everyone, it's Chris Mack.